Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 7th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. A couple days from now, uh, Friday will be our new moon. The sun is pretty active again. we got a very large uh, spot coming around. You can get about five, six Earths in the uh, black parts there. So this is a you know, big system. Looking at drought over the last uh, week, we have seen some relief down these south central mountains. Not much else has changed. That's kind of a winter norm. Looking nationwide, you see a decrease in both areas of of more severe drought. It's nice news for as a nation kind of getting into a good place. Smoke wise, nothing in the west. Okay, let's look at the snowpack, and we see throughout the snow season so far, kind of keep an eye on the date here. There's the end of January and very end of January, and this is the most current. You can see we're bouncing along a little below. We're at 93% statewide, so okay, that's pretty good. Um, this next system will bring in more. After that, we get another big break, but uh, it'd be nice just to get across that green line. All right, looking at the last uh, storm. This is precipitation. This is not snowfall. This is the amount of water that came down uh, over an inch for much of Longmont or near an inch down in so the southeast part of the town. Uh, look at that, up to almost two inches, one and three quarter inches of water in Boulder. And if you get snowfall, because it was so warm at the beginning, it was rain up to uh, <laughs> when it came down in slush and the slush then got rained on so it, we it's kind of hard to say we got around two inches seems to be what everybody is confident with um, looking down here uh, in Boulder we see much more significant amounts five six uh, inches of snow right up in the foothills 15 inches so yep good moisture uh, this is the precipitation. There's something wrong with this. This is just is not the last seven days. Um, I worked with it. The website just wasn't giving me the data. So we'll move on. Uh, taking a look at possible convection or severe weather just on the California coast for Wednesday, moving in to southern Arizona as well for Thursday, and then south of us as the system comes by uh, Friday. Uh, we have western slope precipitation, some heavy uh, amounts of snow in the higher elevations, and a big sloppy, messy uh, set of systems kind of a, over the entire west. It's just a trough over the west and lots of stuff happening. It's California and Arizona rain and it's interior snows uh, for this is Thursday, so western slopes again. You'll see a lot of clouds, a lot of low clouds hugging the mountains if you look west on Thursday. And then Friday, we get some rain in the morning, maybe snow flurries. Uh, it, the models are showing rain, but it's in the 20s, so it's got to be snow. Um, so we might see a snow rain mix midday before the main system comes in Friday night. And the main system is very high agreement, a significant amount of water coming. Uh, normal temperature is going from 45 to 48. We're on the climb towards spring now with nighttime temperatures 18 up to 19 expected with a big dip in the temperatures here. And that's what's going to make the snow story this weekend different than last. Lots of moisture in the west. This is a spinning system coming in on the coast. On Saturday p.m., the trough is starting to pass over the state. Um, Temperatures last week, you can see we're actually above normal on Saturday, and the coolness was just in mountainous areas. But this week, there is a lot more cool. We're a little bit below normal, better in the mountains. That's the snow maker. Also, we're getting a last minute fetch of moisture up from the Gulf, so the low level dew points are looking good, right at or uh, 32 or just even above at first. So you see, oh, that's wrong. Uh, that's Saturday noon, Saturday evening, and Saturday midnight. Uh, that didn't look like that way in practice. Uh, the snow just kind of keeps on going. It's very good. So let's take a look at the animation here. 
going Thursday into Friday, you can see the trough digging down into the southwest. Pretty strong system, positively tilted, but that's okay. We just need that upslope and we're good. A little ripple comes in behind it. I don't think there's any moisture for it to act on. Then we get a ridge back over us for midweek. Little something passes and then the ridge pops up again in the west and over Colorado going into the end of next week. So this is all the focus right now. We have to have something else come out of the uh, model to be interested in right now. There isn't anything interesting in the future. So here comes the cool air for the weekend. And you can see ah, some good cold air pushing down into Texas. You can see the below normal temperatures over the snowpack. It's expected to hang around into the beginning of the week. And then things start to moderate. With the ridge popping back up, you can see the warmth increases except for snowy areas into next week. I'm just going to show a little bit of this. The um, news is talking about the atmospheric river, which I suppose is this. Um, we've seen worse on other times, and we've seen California get rain and thunderstorms without an atmospheric river so whatever and over us the amount of uh, precipitated water is not terribly unusual either so oh well here's our surface dew points uh, taking a look it's really dry going into the end of the week and you can see this little river i'm not gonna call it, i shouldn't use river a little pull of moisture up into the uh, system and that's the good news for the snow and the moisture so let's put this in motion. Different models have uh, different treatment. I think the Canadian's a lot more snowy. You can see it right there. And there it is through the weekend. And then by Sunday morning, it's pulling on out to the southeast. Yeah. So for the next five days, there seems to be a good bullseye here from Fort Collins down to western Denver. With That's 8 to 10, uh, even a little higher in spots. That's pretty good. It's e uh, airport east of Denver, a little less, one, two, three inch uh, totals. It is very spotty. So and I don't know if I really see banded snow features here. That's kind of a line. That's, maybe that's a line. So I don't know how much the jet is going to play in that. I guess that's sort of a line through there. Uh, connecting the docks. All right, looking for precipitation. It's very similar pattern. So most of this should come as snow, not as rain. The uh, Canadian has. We're over here, uh, six-ish or above, um, with a bullseye way out here in the Northeast Plains. The North American model has us in a, looks like a six, eight, maybe nine inch area here. There was a, definitely a band there, maybe there. I'm just trying to see bands and I'm not really seeing them. Well, this is going to be a pretty good snow event. That's, that's a good amount. Well, the next 10 days, pattern really doesn't change. There's a little added to the mountains, so it's going to be quiet after that. So we have 40s, 50s, finally uh, highs in the 30s on Saturday, which last week we stayed in the upper 30s, 40s, 35 on Sunday as the system pulls away. That's all I've got. Um, I'll keep updating things at the Longmont Leader, so check that out. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Nesworth urging you to keep looking up.